Hello developers, aspirants and everybody out there. Good evening and welcome to another session with me, Varun Rao on Tech Tablet. And in this video, we would be beginning with a whole new range of series in which we would be talking about new technologies only for 10 minutes. The timer has already started. We are already 17 seconds down. And this video would be only for 10 to 12 minutes in duration in which we would be talking about some latest niche technologies like TensorFlow, AI, and deep learning, machine learning, what is what, and understand their dynamics so that you can choose your career wisely. Now, these new range of technologies have completely swept the market and have left a lot of developers with a lot of questions. So let us look at some questions and probably get a better understanding of what these technologies are and what they can do to us and what we can do with them. So let us begin. So to begin with, we'll be talking about TensorFlow. Right, and if in case you have liked my videos, you can follow me on Facebook or Instagram on the IDs mentioned below, which is Varun Rao underscore Gemini if it is Insta, and Varun Rao underscore Gemini at Yahoo.com if it is Facebook. And I am also a developer just like you, trying to post some videos to help at least a few aspirants who are looking for some information on these latest range of technologies. So to begin with, we would be looking at what is TensorFlow, what are its uses. What are the different tools that you could work on for this technology and what is its scope? The most important thing, right? And to give you a basic understanding, TensorFlow is on a wide range of scale used for machine learning. And we really enjoy that. You hope the presentation that's made out of passion to reach at least a few. So let's begin understanding what is TensorFlow, right? So it is basically another set of open source software libraries which is used for high high scale calculation and this high scale cal calculation that we are talking about here we are talking about massive data with massive analysis that's happening at one go and the name how did we have or how did we get this name tensor flow so it's basically flow of different tensors or nodes or, or flow of multiple nodes at one single or at one given point of time to achieve one common or to achieve a, a common functionality for example or to give you a better understanding it has such a flexible architecture that you could use it for a wide range of platforms like cpus gpus which is a gaming processing unit or tpus and they work perfectly fine from right from desktops to your mobiles now that is another thing and talking about what do they do so basically it allows developers to create data flow graphs all right so it basically analyzes the entire data and it gives you a description of it in the form of graphs now this is basically just an example please do not restrict your thoughts or your understanding of tensorflow only to graphs and here you can consider each and every node in a graph as a math you know having some mathematical value or carrying some mathematical operation and each of this point is called a node and this node is synonymously called as a tensor and how these tensors flow at a single point of time to achieve a functionality is what makes tensor flow and this application is created by google and it's as we all know most of the languages or most of the technologies we have have their foundation in c so this is also written in c c plus plus Python and CUDA and also operable of in, on a wide range of platforms like Linux, Mac, OS, Microsoft Windows, Android and JavaScript platforms also like Node.js, etc. And if someone asks you what do you think you would be achieving using TensorFlow or, or using machine language, so basically it's used for classification of data and classification of good volume of data. We're not talking about 20 to 30 entries, or not, we're not even talking about 200 to 2000 entries. We're talking of huge entries, all right? And you also have perception, you have discovery, you have prediction, you have creation. We'll talk about all of these in detail in the upcoming um, slide. So now, if you're still confused about what TensorFlow does and is it only for machine learning or is it also for deep learning? Let us talk about it right now. TensorFlow is basically used for machine learning algorithms, but then people get confused with deep learning. Why is it? It's because of a very simple thing. 
that is they have a very similar name and it's because of this name that people come into a false understanding that machine learning and deep learning are like brothers to each other but no deep learning is like a whole set of neural networks that are meant to create intelligent systems and also talking about deep learning deep learning is an approach to achieve machine learning all right so this is what you have to understand when you are becoming or when you aim or when you aspire to become a deep learning or a machine learning developer or probably you want to use tensorflow in your upcoming days right and what are the different applications that we have already developed using tensorflow we have self driven cars that we already know google is coming or coming up with self driven cars it it can all, all detect obstacles it can take its turns it can predict what is the radius at which it should turn when it should stop it understands the red signal green signal and all these then you have sentiment analysis sentiment analysis is not how things used to work in earlier days like you had to okay let's talk about songs you have 20 songs you have four modes like happy sad active and sleepy and you had to set songs so it was as good as a playlist but things now here are also different or if it's not like playlist things earlier were classified on bpm that's beats per minute at least restricting our thoughts to a music player but now things are different way too different then you already know about what a video detection is we have seen time series we know what is image recognition text based applications like you can talk to it it would give you it would convert your language to text and you can type it and it would read it out for you so either which ways vice versa is possible we we have heard and we almost all of us have seen and experienced voice what is voice and sound recognition with the phones that you have the smartphones that you have smart homes that you have smart cars that you can talk about so it's not restricted to just one or two applications or one or two places it would keep going and it would keep going deeper and it would keep broadening with time to come but then this myth that we have that it would remove the entire human workforce or uh, the entire employment would get affected because of this it would all get toppled is a myth as of now or even if that would happen i think that has got a lot of time to happen because we are still at an evolution stage so talking about we losing our jobs right now is a bit too much so let us understand what it is and then let us take a step forward so now keeping all things in one platform and trying to understand what tensorflow is it's basically one of the best applications released by google for machine learning and deep learning in general okay and deep learning just to give you another definition of it it is a great pattern for recognition or machine perception and it's also applied to images videos sounds voice text time series data etc all right it 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 so what it does it basically helps us to classify and uh, cluster data like that with sometimes super human accuracy all right now this is the most important thing now we don't have to talk about accuracy when we're talking about any computer for that case so let's keep that aside then it's the other half of critical success factors for data tensorflow is the algorithm which spots the patterns in fact tensorflow is not the first version it already has another version to it and it's called disk belief now disk belief was a predecessor uh, uh, yeah predecessor to uh, tensorflow and this was released in 2012 disk belief just in case you might be asked or you want to know about it <coughs> and so you have three or four different platforms or uh, you, you actually have a whole range of platforms on which you can use tensorflow so here i have written a couple of them which is tensorflow lite tensorflow.js and tensorflow with swift all right and this is what you can achieve using tensorflow so basically it is a great platform for you to learn machine learning if someone talks to you about tensorflow and machine learning now i hope you understand that both of them are not two different things but this is a platform to achieve that or tensorflow is a platform to achieve machine learning and deep learning is a pattern to achieve machine learning all right so this is what i have for you in this video and we are almost done with 
10 minutes as discussed so here it is we are just done with 10 minutes so in the upcoming video i would be talking to you more about some more latest technologies that are creating a whole new sensation in the market like our language apache spark python and a lot of technologies are yet to be explored and understood by us thanks a lot for your patience and i really hope you have enjoyed the presentation if in case you like the video hit the like button and encourage us so that we know that the videos are being understood and the videos are also being appreciated if you feel that it might be useful for someone else who's also looking for some new avenues or for their career please hit the share button immediately and in the upcoming video i will see you with some more new content and some more new things relating to your career on the technical side have a great day ahead this is me varun rao